Hey, welcome to Wayne's World. It's me, Dwayne, the Booze and Blogger, coming at you for Monday, July 5th, during this COVID mess. Hope everybody had a safe weekend. Hope everybody played nice with each other. You got out to some patios and enjoyed your life. Um, I hope you had a better weekend than me. I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, as long as you're still following the rules, that's great. As always, please subscribe to my channel. I can always use more subscribers. Like I said before, we're at 310. We haven't moved from 310 since the last video. So let's get her up there, folks. Share the hell out of my videos. Um, today I want to talk about something uh, that uh, affected me this weekend, actually. And that is um, the the hospital here in Smith Falls. Um because I got taken there on uh, Saturday morning by ambulance. I had a, a heart episode, so they I went there. And the heart episodes, I'm not going to talk about that really. But what I do want to talk about is the nurses and doctors at this at this hospital. Um, I got there at uh, I think around 10 o'clock, and I was the sixth ambulance that they have seen that they had gotten since the start of their shift at like I don't know I think they started at eight maybe seven I don't know but I was the sixth ambulance there um in that morning and they're overrun like they were absolutely overrun now with what was wrong with me I had to stay there all day so I got to sort of watch what goes on in an emergency room all day long and it's uh crazy all the things that happen and all the things that these doctors and nurses are going through uh, just a sec i'll be right back <sighs> sorry about that i'm uh, not quite up to uh snuff here um it's a problem when you have a heart attack right you uh you lose your uh takes a while to recover from it um, I probably shouldn't even be doing this, but uh, it needs to be said, and um, I really want to get it out there while it's all fresh in my mind, because I just don't want to forget all the things that I witnessed on, on Saturday while I was sitting in a uh, hospital bed watching all the action around me. Now, I see that people are always complaining about how long it takes to go in and... Uh, to go to get in to see the doctors and nurses in an emergency room and i get it now they're so fucking understaffed and there's not enough beds absolutely not enough beds um the the hospital in Swiss falls was packed all day saturday like i mean packed and by the time i had left they had nine or ten ambulances total that day or for the six or seven hours that i was there they had nine or ten total and um i just they're running around like chickens with their head cut off but it is such a controlled crazy it, it blows my mind how these doctors and nurses they stay focused they stay calm and they just do their thing and they get it done now we really really need more nurses at this hospital. We need more doctors there too because um, I sat and after I think me being there five hours and I know the doctor that was looking after me, she she would have started at seven or eight so she hadn't had a break yet. And after five hours, I looked at her and said, Doc, you haven't had a break. Go sit down and eat something. So, and she said, no, 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 I'll just get a sip of water and I'll get going. And that's what our doctors are doing for us. They're not fucking around in the back. They're not... Uh, lazy they're not taking shit they're busy and they're staying busy and this doctor just blew my mind like <sighs> I'll be back again just a sec <clears throat> all right sorry about that I have to pace myself and I get ahead and I get ahead and my brain just starts to go mushy and I have to sit down um that's I'm, like I said I'm still recovering after the effects of shit um but so yeah, I'm watching these doctors. They have patients all day long coming out of their asses. There's not enough nurses and doctors to get everybody through at a speedy um, thing. So, like, I mean, they were telling people when they come into the into the uh, 
when they first book them in into triage that they'd be an hour or two at least. And that isn't because they're not doing their job. They're rushing and they're getting everything done and they're doing it so mechanically. It's perfect. Like the way they're doing shit. I would be losing my mind because I can't... I do well under pressure, but these doctors and nurses, they were amazing under pressure. And that's why I'm, I'm always happy that with doctors and nurses and they're to me they're the most important people in the world um because without them i'd be dead long ago but they work so hard and tirelessly and people when they ask for more money people are saying they people are saying that they don't deserve more money or something they deserve all kinds of money they also deserve some time off i think because they're overworked because there's just not enough of them the, it's time for the entire Ontario government. That's you, Dougie. That is fucking you, Dougie. Um, get us more nurses and doctors. Get us more hospital beds, for fuck's sake. Like, they had to shuffle people based on what they had wrong with them into comfy chairs out of beds because they didn't have the bed space to keep them. And that shouldn't happen. And doctors shouldn't be forced to be missing their lunches or their meals or their breaks or... It's not good for anybody. It's, and we need these doctors and nurses healthy. So get us more fucking doctors and nurses, will ya? Come on, Dougie, smarten the hell up. They're pretty important. Holy Jesus. Anyway, this is Dwayne the Booze and Blogger for Dwayne's World. Take care of yourselves. Anytime you see a, uh, a petition or whatever to help doctors and nurses, sign it. Because the government needs to hear this shit. Um, the Perth District Smith, or Perth Smith Falls Hospital, they need to hear that they need more nurses. They need to be better staffed because... That that was an onslaught on Saturday, and I can't believe how well they handled it. Um, I'm sure they were exhausted at the end of the day. As always, please subscribe to my channel. I can really use the subscribers. Take care of yourselves. Follow the rules. And remember, don't be a fucking asshole!